I met Scott Patterson when he knocked on my door and uh, I was um, you know a little leery of anybody that knocks on your door the first thing you want to do is close it in their face. The thing I most appreciate about Scott is his integrity and his patience with elderly people. I just have full trust in him and he has a magnificent way of explaining things to us in our twilight years. But I got to talking to him and he was so genuine and real and I was looking for a financial advisor at that time. He can eloquently explain his, what he does and what needs to be done and I think that's important. I know for me on a personal level uh, having him explain things makes the picture a lot clearer and I have a better understanding. I originally became a financial advisor to help individuals navigate the complicated waters of this financial world that we live in. We joined the membership committee and that's how we initially met and spent many many hours jumping in a car together and driving around to visit members. You know, one thing I always love about Scott is that what you see is what you get. Um, you know, I notice when, you know, we're out maybe having a beer, uh, he's, he's one way and he's the same exact way when he's in front of his clients. So I think that's something that uh, I can really appreciate about Scott. Scott can talk really, really fast. And you have to go, whoa, slow, slow it down here, Scott, you know, because he gets so passionate about what he's talking about, he can go, uh, you know, 50 miles an hour. If they're going to help me out, then I'm going to help them out. And so I do that through different avenues, you know, giving to charity and, you know, serving on the board of directors for this Chamber of Commerce and serving on the board of directors for the Alzheimer's Association and, you know, adding a lot more value to, you know, the community in which we work. He's one of those people that really does have a passion to give back to the community and not just for his own benefit of building his business, but because he truly does care about the individuals that he's helping. I don't know, it's always been something that just has been a part of me. I work in a, I work in a city, I give back to my community. I help support them. They help support me. I mean, a big reason of you know where uh, I am today, and the fact that I'm still in the business and I have a good client base and I'm able to take care of um, my family, if you will, is because of the people supporting me. And so my ability to give back to that community that's done to me, it, it just seems like it, to me, it's always been something you should just do.